what you can see on screen is a, a very um, simplified sort of typical ar architecture for, for deployment of voice XML services and also it shows where our tool set fits in that. And if you start at the top right hand corner of the diagram we have a couple of offline tools, Director and Studio, which are used to create the call flow and the, uh, the content for your service. And uh, you can do those offline so you can do that without access to any platform or indeed uh, you could run a small development platform on a, on a laptop or personal PC. Uh, you, you, create, uh, you generate those services from the tool and that generates a standard enterprise uh, file uh, conforming to the J2EE standard which you can drop onto uh, any J2EE application server. And uh, we enable that through what we call the uh, console, service management console on, on the screen there through our admin node. And with a, really with a single click, you can actually deploy that application across your entire estate of application servers, whether that's 100 or 1,000 servers. The other capability that the toolset offers in the runtime domain is the ability to uh, virtualize uh, that estate. You can create really what, what I like to think of as virtual IVRs. And uh, as Craig has said, that gives us this multi-tenant capability and the ability to allocate IVR resources to individual users or uh, perhaps groups of users. And then at the bottom of the diagram, you've got the media servers, uh, which actually render the voice XML content. And that's where the, the caller actually interacts and hears what's being said by the service. A programmer might use director, but uh, you might allow your or choose to have your uh, voice user interface designer use the studio tool, and they'd be the person that actually comes up with the detailed wordings of the service uh, and the branding, uh, and actually apply that, that VUI design skill uh, in, within that tool. Uh, being able to separate those roles means, of course, that you can actually hire uh, people who are specialists in those roles to do that job, rather than trying to find the very rare uh, speech scientist who is, who's also a programmer. XMP Console gives you runtime management and runtime view of your application, uh, the ability to deploy uh, and uh, partition and control those applications at runtime. And finally, XMP Reporter is a, a rich environment for understanding uh, everything that your service has been doing right from a top level across the whole platform uh, all the way down to either individual calls or tracking the behavior of individual applications and understanding the behavior of, of callers when they're within, within a call. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to uh, switch to a demonstration of the tools. Uh, and I'm just going to show you how quickly you can start to put together a framework for your application and then begin to start using that as a basis for enriching and improving the application.